and gentlemen, so glad to have you with us today on our first video where we'll be showing you how to create your first proposal in Cork. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and, and log into Cork. Uh, just go to corkcrm.com and click on login, and that will bring you right here to the dashboard. Now, before we create our first proposal, we'll need to create our first lead. And so everybody, so that everybody's on the same page, a lead in Cork is anybody that comes to you requesting an estimate on something. So this could be interior painting, exterior painting, deck staining. They come to you and they say, hey, Mr. Painting Contractor, I want you to give me an estimate on some work. So at that point that they make the request, you would go here to the leads page and you would add them in as a new lead. So we're going to add in a fictional customer here, John Smith. John at Smith.com. And we're going to go ahead and save that. And we're going to head over here to the proposals page. Now, Quark CRM comes preloaded with uh, a number of different proposal templates that are already made, already good to go. But you can always go in there and edit these or create new ones on the proposal templates page, which we will talk more about um, in the video link in the description of this video. For today, we're just going to be using one of the pre-made ones, which will be the exterior painting proposal. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to select the job or the, uh, the customer's name here, John Smith. And we're just going to go through and fill this out. So the idea is that you're filling this out after you've taken a walk around with the customer or, or after you've had a conversation with that customer about exactly what this guy wants to have done on his house. So for Section 2 Preparation, this talks about all the prep that you're going to do. And I'd say on this particular job, we'll be doing all this prep, power washing, caulking, priming, scraping, puttying, renailing. Um, all of this we want to make sure is included in the job. So we're going to leave this as is. Section 3, Work to be Performed. This talks about the areas that you're actually going to paint. And this is the, the section that will vary most widely across jobs. So in this particular house, we're going to say that, uh, that most of these areas are included. So your fascia, siding, port ceiling, wood windows, doors, those are all going to be included on this job. Um, but if we talk to that customer and he says, you know, my wife and I were talking and I think that we're going to replace the front door. You're going to then say, okay, um, we're, we'll exclude the front door from the scope. And, and on the proposal, you'll mark that as excluded. And the reason why we mark it as, a, as excluded as opposed to just erasing it or deleting it or whatever is because we want all parties involved. We want to be aware, we want the customer to be aware, and we want our crew to be aware of the fact that this proposal, this bid, did not include that front door and that it's not to be painted. So we're going to make a little note here. Customer will replace front door. Do not paint. You don't have to do this uh, since we've already marked it as excluded, but I just thought I'd add some detail there. And then on this other item here, shutters on John Smith's house, um, you know, after taking a walk around with him, we didn't see any shutters. So it doesn't make sense to include shutters that aren't there, obviously, but it doesn't really make sense to exclude them either because it's not that we're ex excluding them, it's that they just don't exist. So in that case, we'll mark this as NA, which will basically just uh, make this shutter section here just disappear entirely when we save this proposal. So we're going to mark that as NA. And you can go through the rest of this stuff here. It's pretty self-explanatory. What paint are you going to use? What's the cleanup going to look like? Uh, and then the payment schedule here, this is important. This will detail at what point in the job the customer is paying you and and what he's paying you at that point so we'll say that this is a five thousand dollar job and we're gonna take a thousand bucks up front and we're gonna leave four thousand for completion and so the total job amount is five thousand dollars and the budgeted hours so that's the number of hours that it's gonna take to get the job done 
some of you guys uh, I've, I've noticed don't care to track this and that's fine but some of you may find it useful so we're gonna go ahead for our purposes today and just add that in and then we have these two sections over here on the right hand side expected dates and we aren't going to talk about that today that'll come when we go over contracts so we're going to save this and at that point the proposal is done so at this point in the estimate after you've written this this up in your truck at the kitchen table or let's say you want to go back to the office and do it that's all fine but at some point when you're ready to present this to the customer um, generally I would I would say that it would be best viewed via PDF when you're presenting this to the customer. Uh, so you'd pull up this PDF and you'd show them this and say, hey, John Smith, we're going to be doing X, Y, Z for you. We're going to be painting these areas. I made a note that you'll be replacing the front door, so we're not going to paint that. It's going to cost $5,000. And, and uh, at that point, he would either sign on or he would say something like, I want to talk to the wife. Can you email me a copy? So, if you want to email the customer a copy, it'll go to his email address right here. And to do that, we're going to use this little gear icon, click on that, and then click Issue Proposal. And this window is going to pop up and it's going to ask you, okay, do you, are you sure you want to do this? It's going to send a copy to your email address, and then also it's going to send a copy to the customer's email address. So we're going to click OK. And then you're going to get this confirmation box here at the top. It says, great, the proposal has been issued. We, we, we will send the customer a copy. And here it is. Pretty, pretty simple. So that's it. We just created our first proposal. If you would like to dig a bit deeper into this subject uh, and learn more about customizing your proposals and your proposal templates and, or building one from the ground up, check out the link to the video in the description, the, the next video. Um, where we'll dive a little bit deeper into uh, proposal templates and how to create and edit those. And uh, if not, if you, if you aren't ready for that yet, that's fine. Um, just tune in uh, for tomorrow's video where we will be uh, going over signing contracts in Cork and, and showing you how, how that all works. So glad that uh, you guys could join us today, and we'll see you uh, tomorrow. Bye now.